Jeff and I both worked in the CIA and we were the office in the agency that did what today you euphemistically call spy satellites. What turned out to be unusual about Jeff was that he was able to see the big picture. I joined the board in 88. Without really planning it, I kind of became the focal point for dealings with Washington, dealings with the Hill. And so when I decided it was time for me to retire, Al Simone and I had a discussion and he said, well, who can we get to replace you? I said, we need somebody who's outspoken, who understands Washington and how it works. I got just the guy for you. His name is Jeff Harris. He brings a lot of experience from working at the highest levels of the federal government. And he brings that, that sort of attitude to all of his interactions with the Board of Trustees and the upper level administrations, asking very hard questions. Why are you doing this? Why are you not doing this? I enjoy the fact that he is pushing us um, to think hard, because that's what we should be doing. Jeff is an incredibly accomplished scientist. He's extremely supportive of our college and of our IT, and he had a huge impact. So when I get the thumbs up uh, from Jeff, when we present our accomplishments and our plans for the future, I know that uh, we have done a good job and we are on the right path. Jeff has always been a very strong advocate for the imaging science program, both within RIT and outside RIT. He has such a huge network of people. It's just common knowledge in the field that if you're in a room with Jeff Harris, he is likely going to grab you and introduce you to somebody that you've never met before just because he thinks it's important for the two of you to get together. And it's really that, that outpouring of trying to build those connections and help people that is one of the things that also separates Jeff out. Jeff cares deeply about student success. He lights up when he talks about students and understands how important it is to inspire and motivate students to become the leaders of the world and make our world better. You know, Jeff strongly supports things like the Rochester City Scholars Program and he has supported student research and student experiential learning within the Center for Imaging Science. In honor of the 30th anniversary of the center, he and Joyce Pratt made a significant donation specifically targeted to enhance our freshman imaging project. The project last year was actually to develop an ultraviolet fluorescence imaging system to study medieval manuscripts. The manuscript had previously been erased and then somebody wrote something over the top of it. And this um, was a significant discovery that ultimately was covered internationally and in places like the Smithsonian Magazine Online Edition. And so it was only through Jeff and Joyce's generosity that these students had that experience to take this class project sort of really to the next level. A PhD student of mine who graduated five or six years ago that Jeff has taken on as, as a mentee, she's now a scientist at Los Alamos National Labs, and they are in, still in regular communication, even to the point where she invited him to come out to Los Alamos to speak to their young professionals group. That level of commitment to mentoring the next generation of people, I think, is, is really significant. When Jeff came out to Los Alamos National Lab to meet with our early career staff in our space research division, we had a lot of questions for Jeff, but Jeff had a lot of questions for us. They're building and designing and launching space payloads, and Jeff wanted to know everything. And he was so giving of his time and uh, so generous and willing to tell us just these crazy stories from his time working in government and industry. He, he's been a technical advocate for me. He's been a professional advocate for me. And it's just the mentorship relationship that just continues to get stronger. It is a gift to have someone like Jeff to be one of our alumni who is so much involved and cares so much about his alma mater. His wisdom, his knowledge, his encouragement, and his support are priceless to me. He's very smart, a great mentor, and he's a great networker. Jeff is curious, he's crazy smart, and he is so generous. Passionate, caring, kind. Visionary, strategic, smart. He has the ability to think big. And that's why I think he'll be a good chairman of the board. He has the ability to, to say, where do we really want to go? And how do we get there? 